Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about sidearms. And I'm going to fall off the log here. I'm going to make a bold statement. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that sidearms are better than shotguns in the current state of the Crucible. I uh, That may sound like a bold statement, but that's what I believe. I'm going to say that. I think that a skilled player with a sidearm will consistently outperform a skilled player with a shot, uh, shotgun in the standard setup of the Crucible. And I'm going to talk about five reasons why I believe this is true. So these five things I'm going to focus on are, uh, number one, ammo economy of a sidearm versus a shotgun. Two, the tendencies of other players in the Crucible. Three, the aerial lethality of sidearms versus shotguns. Four, your potential for recovery from a bad opening to your engagement or a bad opening shot. Five, the overall range at which sidearms can eliminate other players versus a shotgun. So these are the five things we're going to focus on. Let's dive right into it. We'll start with the ammo economy. Now, shotguns, they take what kind of ammo? This is not, uh, you know, obvious question here. It's green. It takes special ammo, okay? Now, sidearms take white ammo. It takes, it takes primary ammo, okay? This is a obvious, this seems pretty obvious, but here's the thing. When you're going on long kill streaks, or you're, you're trying to be uh, able to deal with any situation, you want to be versatile at all times, you gotta have ammo. You, you do, you gotta have ammo. So if you want to go on these long kill streaks, sometimes, this is the reality of it, I use a shotgun every now and then. Uh, actually, pretty frequently, I've got, I've got a lot of really cool shotguns, so I like to use shotguns in the Crucible, but here's the problem I run into. I frequently find myself in a situation where I need to make a pulse rifle work at point blank range. Because I'm running pulse shoddy. And sometimes I just don't have shoddy available to me for a number of reasons. One, I run out of ammo and I can't find anymore. Or the guys that I'm killing aren't dropping it or when they do, someone else snags it first. Or I got to run over to their body to get it and on my way there I run into another player and I'm like, crap, I don't have, I don't have the capacity to use my shotgun in this fire fight. And this sort of ties into um, the fourth point that I'm going to get to later, but I'll mention it now as well. Sometimes I need to make a pulse rifle work because I, you know, I, I choke an opening shot, and now maybe they have a different position or they have a, you know, an advantage on me because of all the downtime in between shotgun blasts. You know what I mean? So the thing about sidearms is that you almost never run into that situation until you've already been on a 10, 15 kill streak, and even then sometimes you can still find kinetic. I'm sorry, primary ammo pretty regularly out on the battlefield. So you're really not running into that situation very often. I find myself going on more, wearing out of metal streaks, etc. when I'm using a sidearm versus a shotgun because I just simply do not run into the scenario where I've got to make a primary weapon that is designed for mid to long range. I don't, I don't have to make that work for me. And so a sidearm is always ready. It's always available. It's always got ammo in it. And in these point-blank engagements, I can make that work against all types of players, be they shotgun rushers or whatnot, uh, shoulder chargers even. I can make the sidearm work. So ammo economy, one of the main reasons why I believe sidearms are better than shotguns in the current state of the Crucible. Two, the tendencies of other players play into this conversation as well. Players right now have a tendency to either <laughs> keep their distance or just raw ape. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of in-between. Like, they're going to keep their distance. They're going to take some peek shots and poke shots at you from a distance. And then when you close the gap, they're just going to hold forward on their thumbsticks. Okay? They're just going to hold forward on their thumbsticks. Now, with a sidearm, this ties in. All of these points are connected. This ties into the first topic of conversation about the ammo economy. When they ape you, if you are out of ammo, you are screwed. Sidearms can take care of rushing players with the greatest of ease. And it doesn't matter how quick or mobile they are. They can be hunters jumping around on nibbly bibbly, right? It doesn't matter because think about a sidearm is you can snap in and out of targets and it's so much easier to land consecutive shots and to line up the right shot. With a shotgun, you could choke your shot and you're done, like you're done. If you don't get the one hit kill with your shotgun on a shoulder charger, it's game over, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you leave him with one hit point, you are dead. So sidearms, they, they don't run into that problem so much, okay? With the player, the tendencies of other players right now in the Crucible just to raw ape you, a sidearm helps you juggle multiple people up and close and personal. I just like it more. Aerial lethality, let's talk about the third thing, aerial lethality. 
So sidearms have better accuracy from the air and more consistency from the air than a shotgun does. So it frees up a vertical aspect to your game. Now I am a very vertical player. I use my vertical space a ton. You know this if you know anything about me. And if you watch my gameplay, I bait doorways all the time, just all the time. I bait players, I run around a corner, and the first thing I do is pull 180 and jump. It's just what I'd like to do. Or even I slide behind a box to break line of sight, and then instead of just casually strutting out the other side, I jump out the other side, right? I use my vertical space. And I can consistently land shots with a sidearm from the air a lot better than I can with a shotgun. A shotgun, sometimes you're just going to get really terrible damage uh, with a jump shot of any kind from any range. Uh, they're just not as consistent, but I know that my sidearm is reliable in those situations. So, so much so that I went ahead and I even threw an Icarus mod on mine. <laughs> so it's even more so. I absolutely adore it. The fourth thing I want to talk about is your potential for recovery from a bad opening shot or a bad start to your engagement. Shotguns are very unforgiving. Most of the time, you only have two bullets anyways, or two bullets. Uh, you only have two slugs or you only have <laughs> two shots of buckshot, right? So... If you miss your first shot, not only do you, does half your ammo go out the door potentially, but the other issue you run into is handling time and fire rate of your shotguns. You need to ready that baby again to fire a second shot. And sometimes you just don't have that time. You either miss your first shot or you only do half damage, right? You take their shields off. But sometimes you just don't have enough time to fire another shot before you're dead. This current sandbox, it's a faster paced environment. So it's not very forgiving to players who may screw up the first part of their fight with a shotgun. Sidearms, they just don't run into that issue as much. So what if you miss your first shot? You got, you know, 15, 16, 17 bullets left over in the mag, <laughs> you know, and you're not worried about it. You just instantly keep firing that baby, <laughs> you know? And like I said earlier, the handling is so good on these that you can just snap in and out. So your potential for recovery for, from a bad start is so much better with a sidearm than with a shotgun. Last thing I want to talk about is the range in the current state of the Crucible. Okay, this isn't Felwinter's lie in D1 anymore. Shotguns, you gotta be close for. You gotta be relatively close for. And sometimes I find myself on these little like standoffish fights on either side of a doorway. It's not quite close enough to really do any sort of real damage with a shotgun. But with a sidearm, I go pop, 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 and kind of duck back in, peek back out, pop, 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 right? And you bop, 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 guys, all the way to the grave. Like, it's just so good in so many different situations that shotguns aren't. And so sometimes I even find myself running sidearm shoddy combo. I love using my anonymous autumn with a chaperone. It's a fun loadout to run. But uh, the thing is, I often just find myself <laughs> running around with no green ammo and going on kill streaks with just the sidearm. And that, you know, we talk about the ammo economy. So, anyways, these are the five reasons that I just think that sidearms for the current state of the crucible, they're just better. The better pick. Now, you could disagree and say shotgun aping is the meta. And I would I would be inclined to agree with you. I think it is the meta. I think that a lot of people are doing it. But I'm telling you this, if you're good with a sidearm, you're gonna go on better kill streaks. You're gonna make more impressive plays. You're gonna have a better overall KD, because you're gonna learn to stay alive better than just aping and trade with a shotgun or trade with a shoulder charge and then reset with two ammo again, you know, on a respawn. You're gonna get better. And that's why I think sidearms are just, they're just a better pick. Um, I'm not saying that, shot, that shotties are a bad pick. I didn't say that. I'm just saying I'm falling off the log and saying if I had to pick one or the other, I'm going with my sidearm every day. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay, guys. A little uh, fast pace, jumping around, getting some nice jukes on people and uh, nice streaks there. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I uh, hope to catch you in the Crucible. Bye-bye.